How many of y'all believe that you cannot leave the narcissist? That no matter where you look, there's no option for you to escape. Today, I wanna to tell you a little story to hopefully get you to start thinking about your situation in a different way. Stay with me till the end. A man was walking by and he saw a group of elephants and they were held by a very thin cord tied around their front legs. There were no chains, there were no cages, and the rope was tied to a very little baby tree. And so it was obvious that the elephants who were big could run away, they could easily escape, but they weren't doing that. They weren't breaking away from their bonds. They were not uh, escaping what seemed to be a very easy fix for this man walking by. So he finds a trainer and he says to the trainer, you know, why are these animals just standing there? Why are they not attempting to get away? And the trainer explains something. And unfortunately, this is also a true story, uh, but that when the elephants were younger, they used the same size rope to tie them. And at that age, they were not strong enough to break the rope. And so they learned after trying multiple times that it was an inescapable situation. They had to stay where they were and that there was no sense in even trying to break the rope. And to this day, the elephants still believe that that rope can hold them. And so they never try to break themselves free. The elephant here grew, the rope did not, and yet the elephant's mindset was still fixated around what had happened when they were younger. This man was amazed. He knew that these animals could in an instant break free from their bonds, but he also saw that the trainer knew so deeply about the elephant's mindsets, he knew, the trainer knew, that they would not break away. Why do I tell you this story? Because the fact that you are even looking up ways to leave a narcissist, ways to get out of a pattern of attracting a narcissist, lets me know that you have grown from the time that you were little, from the time that you were younger, from the time that you were maybe even ignorant to what a narcissist was. I've been there myself. If you've seen my story, if you know about what I've been through, that now you know what a narcissist is, there obviously is a way out. So the fact that you have grown and you have tried maybe in the past to leave the narcissist and it never worked doesn't mean that it won't work now. I also want to share one other thing with you. The lack of action or the amount of action is always based in beliefs. If you knew you could not fail, you would never stop. You would never stop pursuing that goal. You would never stop doing things that would get you to reaching that goal. Lack of belief results in lack of action. And that's, that's all it comes down to. This story tells you it's not because the elephant wasn't big enough, strong enough, didn't, didn't have the right resources in order to escape. The elephant just didn't believe. The elephant didn't have the mindset that he could walk away from being tied up to this small tree with this small rope. He didn't know that he had also grown. He didn't know that he was big now. The same is true for so many people still stuck in situations with the narcissist. It isn't the narcissist that's keeping you there, it's you that's keeping you there. The good news is that you can also set yourself free. If you are dedicated to getting out of that situation, you will find a way to make a plan, to stick with that plan, to make it actionable so that you will have the results that you want. You fix the belief, you will fix the action, and therefore you will fix the problem. One of the things that so many people are struggling with when it comes to leaving the narcissist is that they are financially tied to the narcissist. I cannot tell you how important it is that you have your own stream of income regardless of what you do for a living no matter how much money you make that you are in control of how much and when and where your money comes from this is on my heart so much i've even started a new company that takes people exactly through the steps that they would need in order to start their own business and this course is packed with extras, including things that you would need to do in order to start shifting your mindset so that you can start uprooting false beliefs. It takes you through how to start a YouTube channel, how to become a good leader for your business, how to write a book if that's something that you wanna pursue, and even how to become a coach. If you wanna take the things that you have gone through and turn that into something that can benefit other people, go check out my website and my other channel. I just started a brand new YouTube channel where I'm gonna be talking to you all about business. This means business tips, business mindsets, 
business ideas, everything is gonna be covered on that channel, so go subscribe to that one. The link to it is in the description below if that's something that you're interested in pursuing, but regardless, know that it is you who's keeping you stuck with the narcissist, not the narcissist. You can break that rope whenever you choose. And if you need more help in practical ways to start untangling yourself from the narcissist, go check out my free training, which is also listed in the description below. That's a great place to start, and we'll start helping you understand all of the resources that you actually have in your hand right now that maybe you're just not managing correctly. If it's measured, you will manage it. So go check out that training, find out places where you are not managing what's in your hand correctly that will help you start believing in yourself again. Help believing that there is a future for you outside of the one that you built with the narcissist. I want you to be brave enough to invest in yourself apart from the narcissist. Be brave enough to invest in your life separate from the narcissist. Go check that out. I'll see you in the next video.